boys and girls, I'm Santa Christ, and Merry Christmas to you all! <laughs> it certainly is the most wonderful time of the year! <laughs> but did you know there was a Christmas that almost wasn't? Well, this has nothing to do with that story. This is the story about a little boy named the Nostalgia Critic, and how he was having a not-so-jolly Christmas. I've had it! I've really had it! I mean, it's Christmas time, and I'm not giving one good thing to review! I mean, what is this? A Charlie Brown Quanza? Fuck that shit! No, I'm done! I am totally done with this gig! I am never doing Nostalgia Critic again! Fuck this shit, man! Fuck this shit! But Critic, you can't just leave. Hey, I can do whatever I want. But who's gonna run the show? Hey, I'll tell you what. You're so concerned, you run the show! Okay. Hello, Critic. I am your guardian angel. And the Jehovah's Witnesses today. Uh, yes, I was wondering if I could make a listing in your want ads? Uh, yes, I wanted to read Available, one cynical, pompous internet celebrity ready to criticize for boatloads of cash. Oh yes, I'm sure they'll get plain responses. Alright, thank you so much. Bye. Excuse me, perhaps you didn't hear me. I am your guardian angel. Yeah, I was wondering if there were any responses yet on that one ad. No? Okay, I'll try again later. Bye. Ah! Hmm, maybe I should wait a minute. Oh my, but you are a protective one. But in all seriousness though, I am your guardian angel. You still here? I gotta say, guy, you got balls. Well, I used to, but this isn't about me. This is about making you realize how truly important you are to the world. What are you talking about? I come from on high to show you the love and affection that this world has to offer. And whether you realize it, you played a big part in keeping that love going. Who'd you say you were again? My name is Roger, and I am your guardian angel. My guardian angel? Yes! <laughs> Heard me that time! <laughs> Well, if you're a guardian angel, where's your wings? If you're a guardian angel, then where's your wings? Yes, never heard that one before. What? I don't have any wings? I never noticed! It's not like that's the first question! Anybody asked me! Sorry, sorry. I just get that question a lot. No. I'm an angel in training. And once I prove myself worthy, then I get my wings. Well, okay, why the hell are you with me then? To show you just what this world would be like if there was no nostalgia critic. Oh, come on, it wouldn't be that different. Oh, but you're wrong. You make a difference in so many people's lives. If you just let me show you. Oh, I can't. I'm coming down with some. <coughs> it's very contagious. You could die at any minute. Critic, I can show you just what an impact you make. <sighs> All right, but this better be worth it. Grab on to my road. Where are we? We're in a world where you never existed. You mean I was never born? Yes. The world is a far different place. Take a look at your beloved cinema snob, for example. He's a plumber? Well, without you being there to inspire him, he never made the transition into internet reviews. This is the life he leads. Oh, gee, I guess that is pretty tough. Okay, we're ready for you. All right, now you remember your lines, you're a plumber, you're going to fix a woman's sink. Sir, sir, I've done this a hundred times. I could do it blindfolded. All right, well, here's the woman you'll be working with, Jillian. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm about to do a scene with the world's greatest porn star. You are an inspiration to me, sir. This is the terrible life he leads? Well, all you need is a penis the size of a lightsaber, and the rest is done for you. <sighs> I just orgasmed him at the sound of your voice. <laughs> it's to be expected. Well, okay, maybe that wasn't a good example. Why don't I take you to another place? Wait, wait, I want to see this. Action. 
One of your friends is sitting there in the shadows. Linkara? Yes. Doesn't look too happy, does he? Obviously, he's hit on some hard times and has driven himself to drink his problems away. Oh, jeez, poor guy. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Oh, Linkara, I'm so sorry. Who said that they could make Iron Man versus Batman 3 without my permission? Don't they know that I'm the president of both Marvel and DC Comics? He owns Marvel and DC Comics? Look, I had to drag myself into a bar because of the snowstorm outside, and this is the news you give me? You tell Robert Downey Jr. that he has to be patient until I get a script that I think is a faithful representation, it ain't gonna happen. Will there be anything else for you, sir? Nah, that should be everything. But here, have an extra hundred for your troubles. Thank you, sir. Gosh, there's a gaggle of hookers with your name on it. My god, he's doing a million times better than me! He owns two comic companies! Now, let's not jump to conclusions. Ah, damn, it's good owning two comic companies. You see? Alright, alright, so two people are doing better if you're never around. But what about the nostalgia chick? Hey, that's a good point. If I never existed, there never would have been a spin-off character. Yeah, yeah, let's see how the nostalgia chick is doing. Aha! Aha! You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, I bet the nostalgia chick is a single mother living in this crappy apartment, so that means that she could never complete her dream of becoming a famous movie director! <laughs> Darling, thank you so much for looking after our little girl. Hey, what are stay-at-home dads for? It's just a shame that you have to stay in this apartment building. Yeah, it was a shame that the million-dollar condos had to get the reservation wrong, but it was kind of you to buy the entire apartment complex. Well, I just wanted to make sure you two were comfortable. Now it is time for me to complete my greatest challenge yet. Twilight. The good version. I can't believe you entitled it that. Well, if I'm directing it, that makes it true by default, doesn't it? All of America knows that makes it true. Hey, Lindsay, so, um, based upon the watch I don't have, uh, we gotta leave now if we're gonna make it to set on time. Oh, Nella, you're the best producer ever. Well, I wouldn't have been that way if it weren't for you. You know, I'm just so glad we have this friendship based upon mutual respect and dignity. I know! Let's go! <laughs> go team. <laughs> NEXT! Now where are we? Because Lord knows those last three didn't blow me over! We were at the residence of the one you call Angry Joe. Angry Joe, well good, that little pipsqueak wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for me. No, no, absolutely not, no. No, no, I'm through dicking around here, Canada. You get rid of that snobby little province of Quebec, or I'm gonna get rid of it for you, you understand? You see, the American people, they didn't elect me to be some kind of pushover. He's the fucking president of the United States?! What's that? Oh, you think it'd be manslaughter? Well, I think it'd be the greatest thing to happen to Canada since I publicly executed Tom Green. Yes, press secretary. <laughs> yes, let the good people of the world know that they no longer have to fear the tyrannical rule of the once evil empire of Canada. Yes, yes that's right. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Oh. Vote for Joe. <laughs> Vote for Joe. Well, this next one will show you- No! But surely you can see one more! Forget it! This is the most uninspiring ass shit I've ever seen in my life! You really, really suck at this! Oh, come on! These can't possibly be as bad as Joe being president of the United States! <sighs> I suppose you're right. I Man, it can't get any worse. That's my mistake. This is where I film everything. Yeah, that's weird. We're supposed to see Spoonie's life, I... Don't quite understand. Hello, I'm the nostalgia critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. 
Today we're going to look at Last Action Hero. As we all know, Schwarzenegger can do no wrong. You take that back! And I found this to be an absolutely delightful movie. What? It's a clever send-up to all those action cliches we know and love. That film was clumsy and unnecessary! It's a wonderful thrill ride from beginning to end, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Hold it right there! Aha! Aha! Let's see him deal with one of those pesky internet trolls! Oh, hey, douchey. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to say what a fantastic job you're doing. You're an inspiration to the internet, and gosh darn it, a treasure to us all! Why, thank you, douchey. I always look forward to your calls. Oh, by the way, are you still doing the crossover review with Phelis? I was going to, but Canada seems to have disappeared off the map, so I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. Okay, no rush. Take care, my friend. So long, douchey. What a charming young lad. <laughs> Beautiful man. And you know, I didn't think Junior was that bad. I mean, Schwarzenegger pregnant? That was kind of funny. <laughs> oh, you, you, you job stealing horse <laughs> contact with would have led a better life if you had never met them at all. Is this a pep talk? Because let me tell you, it's not helping. Pep talks are supposed to make you feel peppy, not want to take a shower with a fucking toaster! I I'm sorry, it's just... This has never happened before! I mean, somebody always misses the person whenever I do this! I mean, somebody! Statistically, this doesn't seem possible! What about you? What? Yeah, yeah, what about you, Roger? If I never existed, maybe your life would have been totally screwed up. You know, I never thought of that. Take a look at my life and see what would have been without you. It's not a bad idea. All right, then. Let's take a look and see what my life would have been like without the nostalgia critic. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, God, according to my calculations, we should have world peace and... About two weeks. Good job, Roger, good job. I don't know how I could have done all this without you. You're my number one angel. Oh, come on, God, I'm blushing. No, I'm serious. If anything was to ever happen to me or if I was ever to retire, you would be first in line for the job. Oh, God, you know how to make an angel feel needed. Say my best to your son. I will. Take care, buddy. You too. Later. Later. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> his number one guy. No one's ever been his number one guy. But I was his number one guy. And he called me his buddy. Hey, you got a good thing going on now, don't you? I mean, what with the white robe and the ponytail holder? Phew, got made. What did you say you were sick with again? Oh, well, something. Contagious, I'm sure. Life-threatening, no doubt. Uh, no, no, I'm actually feeling a lot better. <laughs> I, I just seem to have this horrible sneeze. Oh, police! Oh, police! <laughs> if you go, all will be at peace. Wait a minute. What am I afraid of you for? You're just a two-bit angel without any wings. What are you gonna do to me? Kill an angel? I've heard from God himself. Nobody can kill an angel. Really? 
it's worth a shot. Hm. Go ahead. Shoot me. Hmm. So God lied to me. That seems like a dick move. Sunday miserable. But there is one life that I can safely say I made better. Mine! And that's why Mary Poppins had an abortion and later she became a revolutionary. Wow, that's really interesting, Giggles. Hey, 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 get out of here! Get out of here! Hey, you bastard! Ah! 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 Fuck was that? Hey, people! I'm back! here to stay, and I just wanted to say one thing to all of you. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, you poor reviewing fucktard! Blow me! Merry Christmas, you self-righteous activist for anything you... I so wish you'd die. Merry Christmas, you pasty comic book reading ass magnet you! Merry Christmas, you overexcitable Puerto Rican jumping bean! Oh, I am so working on a hand grenade with your name on it. Merry Christmas, you pompous reject of everything likable you! Thanks a lot. I'll see you in hell. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all! <laughs> so as you see, boys and girls, the moral of the story is... 